a switch over here. Checking my bag here. This is my an old military pack. Don't don't know what uh, army. Got this from a nun, the Abbey, young nun. And it's, uh, it's one of my favorite packs. Got the nice handle here. Put stuff on top. Got loops. This is my little do rag here. Slips over the head. Um, I'm going to take this apart, um, taking it with me, I uh, may go for a little walk with it. I like this, I use this all the time, I think I used it in the winter last time. There's a blanket in here with this, but uh, it's my, I love this poncho, it really, it's really good and I have it set up with some uh, stuff there. Portage. I'll go over the blanket after maybe, but uh, yeah, this is just a synthetic, very warm, very large, lightweight blanket in here. I'm going to take this out. I think this is four and a half by nine, not positive. Um, I've set up shelters with it before, and you can do a lot with it. It's kind of an odd size, but it's really good. It's lightweight and it's a beautiful material. But uh, I, I may take this blanket out, maybe put a small wool blanket in. Um, I'm going up north. May or may not use it, but I'm checking it because I did use it. So let me just put this aside. My compass here. I'm going to leave that there. Nice little compass there. You know, it kind of isn't. Uh, Don't have my glasses. It's a silver compass. Yeah. Little water bottle. It's actually a load of water in it. I have to get rid of that. And uh, I can hang this or use this. I do believe I have a little hanger in here for that too. Hang it over the fire. Okay. So here's my container, shelter, warmth. Uh, I just forgot I had to check this pack, so I figured I would bring you along. Um, got that. It's a beautiful. I forget it's some tactical thing there, but it's uh, it's good. I like it. And you could tie things on here in the bottom, you know, like like you saw there. You know, your sleeping bag or whatever you want. Um, yeah, I go a little day hike. It doesn't weigh, I forgot how much it weighs, but it's not too bad. But I'm trying to go lightweight because of my somewhat of a metal condition. Yeah, a little metal condition there. Plus, it's easy on the knees. But uh, I came from somewhere in here. So I'm going to open this up and see what we got in here. Looks like a. Uh, I mean, I, I have a million packs. Well, stand for my large and small gas canisters. Which are important. Now, with all the fires going around, you, can, you really can't fool around. You want to fool around. Little top made out of a can. A hobo can. Polypropylene. Uh, Stanley Cup, I actually like them. Uh, this is a little pan holder. It's very small, lightweight stove. Um, and a lighter with some duct tape. Um, little hobo can, and again with this. Works fine. And then like a little uh, Kinder pan, probably from Ikea. But, uh, But it fits in that pack. And what else do I have here? I have a little uh, peanut sweet and salty bar. It's like a little snack. And this is from an Irish hat that my dog chewed up in Dingle, where my grandmother was from. So I salvaged it and I made a uh, little thing for your frying pan or a little holder. 
But this is a very, very, very lightweight. I think I have another, I do have another one of these. I sent one to someone too. But uh, very small, very small. But, uh, and there is a gas canister in there. So that's just a little cook kit, containers. My water bottle is a container also. Um, and it goes back in here. Oops. One of my spoons. Ultra light spoon that I made. Nothing fancy. Maybe I'll just stick that in there with that. There's the stove. that in there. We'll stick this back in after. See what else we got in here. Got a uh, hammock rain fly. They call it a hammock rain fly in one of my videos on the Mohawk Trail. See I set it up with like snow, sleet, and rain. Um, it's not a big one, but you can set up a nice little plow point with this. You know, Plus, they have the poncho, but this will, uh, they call it hammock rainfly. I think it's kind of small, but uh, actually, this works with a hammock too. You see, one of my uh, my orange ones I had up in the Adirondacks it was raining. Um, one of my smaller hammocks, I was able to set up and use it. This is a little shelter, also, it works well. Uh, I think I got this at Walmart and one time equipped hammock rainfly, but uh, it, it works fine. We, I used it. So then I got some uh, food here. Got some coffee. Got some tea. Got some Polish soups. Uh, some Thai noodles, which is one of my favorite out there. Um, spices. Um, just a little something to have. You got it. I got a hammock here not a fancy one this is just like I think I got this at all these um, I have several hammocks so a very inexpensive hammock tested it many times very robust I'm not a light guy and uh, and I got the hammock straps in there with it the standard straps but um, if you see them on sale there, you know, but they're the nylon ones, don't hesitate to get them. They're pretty good. Just remember when you go in a hammock, you know, don't have any sharp objects in your pocket. You really shouldn't wear the boots. But it works very well. This is just a little day pack or night pack or whatever. This is some uh, tinder. Various shavings. Cordage, the light on fire, some fat wood, shavings, a uh, little headlamp, see if it works. Yeah, it works. Good. Fine. Uh, I'm not taking my truck this time, so that's why I'm checking this. It's going to go in a car. I had some other stuff in there. I'm taking all that out because we're going to be in a small car with three people. So I got to go over my stuff here. Uh, this is a decent quality uh, ground sheet reflector unit. So we got enough for shelter and for the ground. Whatever. Used that before too. More cordage here. Or whatever. Got a little, uh, little more. I believe it's a companion. I got my uh, ferro rod on it. I also, on me, I have three knives on me right now. And I usually carry two all the time, but uh, not a big one though. Good sized pocket knife, small little knife, Swiss Army knife right now. But I'll have a Swiss Army knife and a decent sized straight pocket knife. But this is good, and I put the, you know, from an old big pen on there. Put this on there. This is a, a companion. I believe it's a companion. I don't have my glasses, but yeah, it's a companion. Standard companion. But uh, 
I ground this down. Let's see if I did it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, there you go. That's a nice knife. Good knife. A basic knife. Um, my recommendation for your pockets or don't carry your ferro rods loose in your pockets, you'll lose them. I've lost a couple of them. Good to have a, some, a decent holder. But uh, a little fixed blade knife here. Um, I got it's number 18 bank line or whatever. Um, heating pads here. I don't know if I want to take everything out. Um, small little ground sheet, another fire starter. So this is just uh, uh, some basic stuff here. Um, I do have stuff over here. Um, you say, oh, this is all he has in this. I have like 10 bags, but this is just one of my favorite. The pinch, you get out, you set up, you get out of a fire, a little bit of food, light, knife, you know, um, they're good. They're good to go. This is tied up, but I'm, I'm going to open it now. I want to see what's in here. Um, I do have another bag. I have my clothes in. I have some basic survival stuff in there. Some pretty good stuff. But um, the snap broke on this, but I, I love this little pack. I really do. But in here I got some uh, hand sanitizer. I got... Uh, Little ridge line here. Some more fire starters, some toggles. Little holder again. You can even warm your wrist up with it. You have old socks, you use it as holders or, or to keep your wrist warm. Um, what else I got here? Some sunscreen. Little peg. Could probably use that as a trigger for my other pack just with my basic clothes I, I do have some uh, little triggers for making little fish traps and I have some stuff. Oh, it's two hand sanitizers. So, so cotton. Use this as fire stick or your lips. A um, couple band-aids. Uh, a little more Number 18 back line. Some paper in here for something. Oh, so what this is here is a uh, inventory of what's in here. So if you take things out, you can check and see. So it says plow point tarp, just for the, the hammock, reflective tarp, ground sheet, lots of uh, food. May have to replenish that. Three cook pots, one cup stand, one uh, cup stand. I don't know, whatever. Water bottle, tinder, pellets light. Took the pellet pellets out. I used to have an esbit in here. Um, I think I took that out. We have a gas stove and we can build a fire. Chapstick, hammock straps, flashlight. More companion mosquito net. I don't see the net though. Um, I got this. I always have a net in my truck. Um, compass, ferro rod, hand sanitizers, bug. Oh, sun, sunscreen, bug and sunscreen. Whatever. So that's some basic stuff there. And this I'll. Uh, I'm going to take this apart, I'm going to take this, probably even though it's very lightweight, or maybe, I don't know. I do have a, a nice small wool blanket. It'll weigh a little more, but it's a little more compact for now. Put this back in the winter because I can fold it up nice into a nice bag to keep you warm. But as you see, I have enough tarps and ground sheets and stuff.